Okay, hello back again. And I don't recall what I was doing in the third floor of the mortuary. Yeah. I think we have the key that we came here to pick. We have the crooked finger bone. And that's about all we can do here, I think. There's still a. Uh, that room we have to go there, I think. We don't have to, but we will go there. We have a small array here. It's done. I'm actually somewhat interested in what happens when I'm you gone. talk to a dustman here. This is not a generic skeleton worker. The word repent has been carefully engraved into its forehead with some amount of skill. A rougher hand later chiseled 996 onto its temple. Okay, we'll examine him carefully. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. I'm not gonna talk to them while there's two of them there. Because it might uh, go into a fight and I don't want to keep things under control, so to speak. Yeah. Alright. We're going to have to... Yeah, I think this is a... Uh, the air roaring from the mouth of this immense furnace is increasingly hot. Walking even a few steps past the archway would certainly cause your hair and flesh to burst into flames. It's the great furnace where they cremate the bodies. We don't want to go there. Yeah, this is an Done. opportunity for us to meet a dustman. See what we can actually do if they catch us. The dustman regards you with a stony gaze. Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I had some questions. If I'm not lost, what is your business here? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell him the truth or say it's not in concern. Okay. Here to see someone. Who are you here to see? Dole, that's pretty much the only actual person we know. Could say Adan, but that's a made up name, so that might be trouble. Dole is most likely in the receiving room on the second floor. He's quite busy and not not in the best of health. Unless you have per pressing business, I would not disturb him. Oh, well, thanks for the information. Oh. Well, that was fairly harmless. Which is good. Now we don't have any reason to actually try to avoid them. I think I think that's because we have uh, some charisma in, in invested, so they'll actually believe our right. crap. Okay, there's I still don't want to repeat these conversations over and over again. Just quickly see if there's anything to loot here. Maybe some zombies we haven't met. Done. I'm gone. I'm yeah. gone. Something minor loot, nothing of real interest. Talk to the woman, zombie. A chief, if I don't come back, it's cause I'm gonna be dying the little death with that zombie jet. I don't I don't really know what to say to that. If he was a human, I would definitely find it quite disturbing, but since he isn't yeah, I don't know. I'm gone. It's just odd. I'm gone. There's nothing really appealing about rotting corpses. You there, hold. No point in holding. You're so slow. Done. Not gonna wait for you. Okay, I think this is a. Ooh, we have a hammer. Done. I'm taking these different tools yeah I guess this is also a weapon not particularly good one but 
things like scalpel also seems like a weapon, but in fact we have been able to use it in multiple dialogues or lead ready as a precise cutting instrument. So I'm sort of, and I think the pry bar here, used to open, uh, used to pry open doors, chase an occasional reluctant grip cage. But there's a no specifically telling here. Although the pry bar is specifically intended for, for prying open things, you can attempt to pass containers open with any weapon. So I think some of these tools are not, even though they can be used as a weapon, they're not just weapons and they have actual uses in dialogue, so I will try to keep uh, one of them in someone's inventory, just to have the option available. If inventory space becomes very tight, I'll dump them. As long as we have the option Done. to keep them, I'll keep them. Okay, and this I'm is gone. the last room on the I'm gone. second floor. Some bandages. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up cleaning rags. Yeah, they don't seem to be particularly interesting. One zombie worker. 891. Yeah, totally Ooh, generic. I wanna be buried with her. I'm gone. All right. Okay, now all of doors in the mor mortuary sh should be open. All right. Place on this floor and the third floor. So maybe we can open this right. and get downstairs. I will also actually start using more safe spots because there's always a chance something goes wrong both technically and in the recording, so I want to have a backup so I don't have to uh, have to leave videos with technical problems and I don't have to start again because after a while this is a long game, a long let's play, so at some point I simply <laughs> refuse to start the game over again. So I want to have those uh, save saves to at least at the start of each recording session, so at the maximum I lose one recording session. Zombie 732. Oh, he has a tomb. You notice he is carrying a huge tome in his hands as if taking it somewhere. We'll take it from him, gain the item. You carefully take the tome from the corpse's hands. It doesn't seem to notice. The tome appears to be a book of enchantment and ward. It is filled with diagrams and charts detailing various aspects of the necromantic arts. The book itself is extremely heavy. As awkward as the zombie is, it must be extremely strong. Does it have anything else of interest? No. Ooh, Tome of Bone and Ash. Of particular interest is the section regarding guardians. Apparently the dustmen animate corpses of fallen giants to serve as guardians for the mortuary. Okay, we haven't seen any. To make them even deadlier, armory enchantments are woven into their breastplates to help shield from attack. The book is much too complex for you to absorb all at once, but it looks as if you could refer to certain sections when the need arises. So we can use it, but again, if the proper dialogue appears, right. we have the option to take advantage of that. Done. So again, another item I have to keep in my inventory, at least for the moment. Mm, I need to keep an eye out for a place where I can dump these excess items. Sort of a storage area for myself. Uh, I, I'll only dump items I think will be of no use to me anymore. Or I'm fairly certain of that. But I'll just want to keep them there for safekeeping, just in case. Done. I don't want to lose item and get into trouble. But I can't carry around everything. Okay, there's a giant skeleton. Alright. We have to be careful because that's a 
That looks pretty, pretty dangerous. It's armored with a huge weapon.